Hey, Kyle here. Well, most of my photography is a hobby and a passion. I just love going out and shooting pictures. The one thing where I do have to take it seriously and make sure everything is technically perfect is when I'm using my cameras to document artworks. For copyright reasons, I'm just going to document my own artworks in this video. It's easier than asking permission and paperwork and all that stuff. Everything I've done to this point regarding documenting artwork has been with quality in mind and trying to get the best image quality possible. However, I'm also very lazy and kind of busy sometimes, so um, anything that makes the process faster or easier, I'm a fan of. I'm a big fan of. So. Um, Normally I use my speed lights on a 45 degree angle, have another speed light on the top of my camera, sort of tilt it up so I get a nice bounce coming in from both sides on the top to give me good shadows, good even lighting. But sometimes I'm in a hurry so I just use my studio lights, which are these um, Yongnuo YN360s, which can also do great RGB stuff. I'll do a video about those eventually. They're a decent substitute um, photography light when I have to. I usually use my Nikon 50mm 1.8D lens. Uh, the reason I use the D rather than the newer G is that um, there isn't a significant difference in sharpness between the two, and I find the D actually has slightly less distortion. Not very good all the way open at 1.8, but at f5.6 this thing is really nice, really crisp, really sharp, really beautiful. But I'd like to compare this lens to the 24 by 7 70 f4 zoom lens that came with the Z6 to see if it's sharp enough or even sharper. Does this new Nikon Z system live up to the hype? Let's put it to the test. I'm going to take 10 photos of this painting with my old camera and my old lens. And this isn't how I'd do it if I was um, actually documenting artwork. I'd have a tripod and proper lights and all that, but this is when I'm being lazy and just wanting to do it quick enough. Let's see how it works. So of the 10 shots taken with my 50mm at f5.6, only two turned out and would actually be sharp enough for web use. Okay, now I'm gonna shoot with uh, the Z6. Switching to the Z6, first at 24mm, I had 8 out of 10 were acceptably sharp for web, and 2 out of 10 would actually be good enough for print. Moving on to 35 millimeters now, 9 out of 10 are good for web, 4 out of 10 for print at 5.6, 9 out of 10 are sharp for web. At f8, 9 out of 10 are sharp for web, 5 out of 10 sharp for small print. Moving up to 50 millimeters, 10 out of 10, good for the web, 7 out of 10, acceptable for print at 5.6, 9 out of 10 are good for the web. And at f8, 10 out of 10, good for the web. At, uh, Zooming into 70, another 10 out of 10 for the web, but only 5 out of 10 for small print. The 70 millimeters did turn out noticeably softer, but I think that's just the IBIS having to keep up a bit more. But uh, yeah, for the web, it's fantastic. Clearly I wasn't expecting to get great results with the lazy method, so I did another test where I popped a flash on the top of each camera and had a go of it. Um, tripod with the D600, handheld with the Z6. These are the results. I'd say they're pretty damn comparable. Uh, here's one I did with the Z6 on a tripod versus handheld. I have a feeling that with the IBIS and the Z6, I can get away documenting art without a tripod, just hand holding it. That's, that's gonna make my life so much easier. Um, still one flash on top. It re you really do need the two flashes coming in from the side to get the, the correct modeling, but I'm impressed. This is going to make my life a lot easier, and this 24-70 to f4 zoom I think is just about as sharp as the 50mm uh, at 5.6. It's certainly sharper than it is any wider than that, so um, this zoom lens is enough. I'm I'm excited. This this is good news for me, because um, you know when you're documenting art, perfect sharpness, center to corner. That's exactly what you're after. That's exactly what this provides. I 
everything else I've said about this is just me having fun. That's what matters. And I got it. All right, bye.